vulnerability is very important to me. If I can be vulnerable in front of people, I feel like it might give them permission to be vulnerable in front of me. Then we can just be human and share moments together. One, two, three. My community holds up a mirror for me. They mirror to me what I need to see in myself sometimes. So I feel like it's really important to engage with people in your community, to be a part of it and to connect. I like to write on um, a beautiful guitar that was my mum's 21st birthday present in Chile. So it's from Chile and I'm Chilean, so it's the country that it's got the history of the country that runs through my veins and I feel its magic every time I write on it. Yeah, my abuelita speaks um, at the end of the track. It's a letter that she wrote when she first saw the first traces of me in an ultrasound in 1996 and she read that letter to me for the first time this year. I feel like this year I've stepped into getting the knowledge that I, that I need from the people who have come before me and I think that's a really huge part of my process into the music world. And I really love um, bringing people together and um, I wish we could all have one big cuddle. Maybe we can have... <laughs> Maybe like after, if, if you like cuddles, we can all go to like the middle, or meet at the middle, like right where you're standing. It's like, and... There's a huge eight there. Why is eight your favourite number? <laughs> Why is eight my favourite number? Mm. It always shows up when my dad was around. And we... I have half of it on my thumb sometimes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have half of eight on the track. Yeah, my dad has the other half. <laughs> I wonder what it means. Let's look it up. It brings a message from the angels. Financial abundance is on its way. Yes. <laughs> so my Tata Pepe was in one of the first Latin American bands in Australia. And I've never heard him play, but I know he is a great musician. What? <laughs> Please explain yeah, what just happened. Here. Okay, so before I saw it, there was a massive eight in front of my face and I was like, oh, my tata must be here. And then I found a coin and there's a fucking eight right next to the coin. Yeah, I just know that my tata's looking out for me and um, yeah, it just means I think that I'm okay. I'm putting one foot in front of the other for good reason. And I gotta keep going. <laughs> I like to try and create a space where people can be vulnerable and open and and themselves with me. I really like opening up a space where um, we can just be weird and normal and everything in between. <laughs> I feel like we're always going to have barriers, we're always going to have things to overcome and I think that's what makes the overcoming so much more powerful. Like now that I know what it is like to overcome, I can have faith that um, if another obstacle comes along I can, I can handle it. You know? So hard